Hi guys, welcome back to the giant world of tiny things. My name is Maximilian and I'm really excited to be back with another video and a new piece of content because lately I have not been able to produce as much content or barely any content and the reason for that just simply is that my life was super busy. I've been moving back overseas, hence the new environment. And so today we're gonna start that change and I've got a really cool subject for you guys, especially since we're well into mid-December at this point and even though it's not technically winter yet it sure feels like winter that's why i've been bringing inside all the plants from the outside and along those plants a little hoverfly snuck inside my theory is that it's been starting to hibernate already outside but then i brought it inside with those plants and it woke up again and started hovering around because of the warm temperature inside here and i felt really sorry for the little thing because it's not gonna find any wild flowers inside maybe a couple that i still have on my window board but it's it's hard for the fly to find those flowers, it's hard for me to direct it there and so I've been wondering how I could feed it and I've been trying syrups and honey and uh, pop and even fancy jams and literally everything and I didn't like any of it until my brilliant brain eventually came up with the idea to just try some good old sugar water and that did the trick. So I've been feeding the little thing and since that was taken care of I've been wondering well how could I, how could I photograph it in a way that just looks exciting and doesn't just show it on the ceiling or wherever it decides to land. So I've been putting some sugar water onto a plant in the evening when there is no light really coming from the outside and then I've been shining a flashlight onto that flower to direct the fly there because it's naturally attracted to light so it will go to the brightest light in the room and that was quite easy to get it to land on that flower and from there I could start setting a setup up, could start setting things up and just to get an exciting background and an exciting composition I decided to produce this set up that you will be seeing right now. I placed a CD in the background and I've been using an on-camera flash with a good old modifier like this and that basically did the trick. All you need to do then is to find the right angle of flash and the right angle of the CD in the background to produce some really cool rainbow gradients in the background and you can see the results right here. Now this is basically the content of the video already. Before I let you guys go I'm gonna talk about the lens for a second. Now I've been using this FL 28mm manual lens by Canon which I reverse mounted. All you need for that is a reverse adapter. You can order them for like five bucks or something on eBay. They typically come from China and take a little bit to arrive but they're really worth the wait because they allow you to adapt some fantastic characteristic vintage lenses and turn them into macro lenses. And the beauty of these lenses is that you can also just adapt them the right way around by switching this adapter to the actual rear of the lens. All you need for that is a adapter that goes from the mount to a filter thread. I made this adapter myself from a step ring and an FD to EOS adapter but if you're a creative mind like me you sure will find a solution and then you can just adapt it the natural way around. Now because of the adjusted flange distance you won't be able to focus on infinity with this nor will it produce true macro magnification but instead you get a really awesome looking wide angle close up lens which is quite a unique look and I'm gonna show you a sample image or two on screen right now. And if you like this as much as I do, you might want to check out my blog post, which I'll link in the description below, where I talk about the beauty and the versatility of these reversed mounted vintage lenses. Now that's it for this video already. I'm gonna finish off with a slideshow as usual and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. Cheers!